welcome back to the next video. So here it looks like we are wrapping up the whole story for Eden's verse. So we just defeated Shiva and we're getting a good look around before we continue on. So can you remember when there was just nothing but like the white sand everywhere? We have water, we have dirt, we have a weather system, and now we have grass and plants beginning to poke their heads up. So yeah, I can't wait to see the changes that's going to be happening next time. Alright, so the quest is called Life Finds a Way. Green is ecstatic to see the first signs of greenery in the empty. I think a lot of people accidentally forget that this is just the second stage, so I can't wait to see what they do for the third stage. I can feel all the revitalized elements working in harmony. I've always believed Eden had the power to restore the empty, but I never expected it to happen so quickly. Um. Yeah, I never did get the hang of summoning primals correctly. Judging my Thancred and Orianta's reactions, it seems most of them were barely recognizable. Far be it for me to worry, but are you sure your memory is alright? Though thou hast grasped the basic principles of summoning, it beareth repeating that such data form entities are not the product of the memory alone. Nay, Miyad and other factors contribute to their corporeal manifestation, in a process not unlike the techniques employed in creation magic. Hmm, I wonder if the effects from the rebalanced ether will spread to the rest of the empty. Perhaps we'll just have to wait and see. Besides, I'm sure we could all do with the rest. I must say, Reed, it's refreshing to see you take a more measured approach for a change. Well, if my experience here has taught me anything, it's that I shouldn't rush into things unprepared. And I've also learned that there are some problems that can't be solved alone. Is that so? Since you freed me from Yulmore, I met all sorts of kind people who had gone out of their way to help me. I thought that I should do everything in my power to repay their kindness and make the world a better place. But now more than ever I realize that there is a limit to what I can achieve by myself. Even though I was able to summon Shiva, I couldn't control such vast amounts of ether. If Gaia hadn't been there for me, I might never have returned to normal. I could say the same about you. I was trapped in a nightmare, but you freed me. It seems we're more alike than I thought. We might not be able to do everything by ourselves, but if we look out for each other, then we could face our problems together. That's if you don't mind. No, it's fine, really. If things don't work out, we can always go our separate ways. Then on the other hand, if I can resist the urge to punch you whenever you annoy me, which I must say is quite often, I have no objections to staying around. You mean it? Oh, thank you, Gaia! May I suggest we continue the conversation and end the ring? Though the empty may now support a foliage, the land's normalization hath but begun, and to linger over long still entaileth risks. Is off the matter, Thancred? Nothing you need to worry about. Let's go. Oh, 
All right, so let's head out. And that is how the Oracle of Light and Darkness became best friends. Well, we're back here in Amarang. Our encampment remaineth in its present state for our anticipated return. I cannot help but wonder how the land may change in our absence. Off to more souk, are we? I can't say I care for the place. The marketplace reminds me of Yulmore, but instead of fine delicacies, they peddle. Well, I don't know what they are exactly, but I do know that they're far too wiggly for my liking. That's actually a smart idea. To think that Reen is the same girl I rescued from Yulmore. Compared to the way she was back then, the difference is like night and day. Before we do anything else, we should return to Yalfort. Who want to know how we've been getting along in the empty? Speaking of more soup, there was a snack of some sort that caught my eye last time. I can't quite describe it, but it looked squiddly. Despite a strong suspicion that I may live to regret it, I'd like to try one. Oh, I think I know the one you meant. They might not be much to look at, but I bet they taste amazing. Perhaps we should also try a pot of those jelly wigglers or whatever they're called. I'll even let you take the first bite. Ew! No thank you! First coffee biscuits, now worms and jelly. Heavens forbid the two of you might actually eat some proper food. Claire, may I ask a favor of thee? While as Thancred and I returned onto the Crystarium to inform our comrades of our recent exploits, I would have thee accompany Rian and Gaia to more souk. Oh man, that was actually kind of cute. <laughs> because they were arguing like real best friends there. Yeah, I'll just teleport back. I'm too lazy to fly there. But they may live to regret eating some of that food. I think that Claire here is still recovering from that time she ate some of that food when she first got here. And that was a long time ago. But hey, if they like it, they probably just got stronger stomachs than we do. I trust all is well, Miss Gaia. It will be once we get out of this desert town. If I have to spend another night in that dingy little room, I shall scream. Terribly sorry to hear that the accommodation was less than satisfactory. I'll investigate the availability of more comfortable lodgings post-haste. Yes, I think we'll be staying in more souk, at least for the time being. It might take a while for me to write the reports, as our expedition was... rather eventful. Claire, I really appreciate everything you've done, and I'm sorry for all the trouble I put you through. Still fretting about that, are you? What's done is done. Besides, it all worked out in the end, didn't it? You're right. Now, how about that treat we promised ourselves? They might not have coffee biscuits here, but I've heard the regular cakes are to die for. Or was that you'll die from eating them? Only one way to find out, I guess. I'm sure trying the local delicacies will keep us occupied between writing reports and thinking about the next plan of action. Hopefully we'll have another chance to visit the empty to see how things are coming along. Don't even think about leaving me behind. Aww, it's over already. Oh, okay. Oh, worlds apart. Yellowford is the bearer of tidings of some description. Oh, okay. Well, I guess there'll be one more. Well, I guess there'll be one more video after all, just after this one. Okay, so until next time, everyone, this is Claire signing out.